Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Caroline or Mimi or both. I'll answer the both of them. This is my beautiful, lovely cousin slash sister, Felicia. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? <laughs> so if you haven't already liked, comment, and subscribe, please do that right now. Don't forget, put your bell notifications on, please and thank you. Don't forget to check out my latest video on how I recently dyed my hair. The reason why it doesn't look like the hair color that you see is because I actually went in the pool, so it's kind of changing, but I'm going with it. It is what it is. So today's video is going to be about some plus size questions. We got some general questions about the plus size industry that we cannot wait to answer for y'all. All right, so let's get into it, guys. Yay. All right, y'all. So we have our handy dandy notebook here with all of our questions because we want to make sure we get this shit right. Oh, I cursed. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be all right. Okay, yeah. All okay. right. So the first question we have is where do you get your fashion inspiration from? And I'll let Mimi start. Okay, so fashion inspiration. Definitely get it from people on Instagram, just looking at their outfits, yeah. just seeing how they put everything together. I love that. Also, um, magazines, um, billboards. I mean, anywhere yeah. really. You could. I feel like you could find inspiration when I go onto um, websites to shop. For example, like Sheen or Fashion Nova, I see inspirations on the different outfits that they put together or just different pieces. Also my family, my friends, they give me inspiration. They have different styles, different vibes, Absolutely. and basically just using everything that you get and make it your own, you know? That's the key term, man. Make it your own, like. For real. I definitely agree with Mimi. I get fashion inspiration from Instagram a lot, but like I work for Torrid, which is a plus size, a women's plus size retailer. And um, I always will tell our customers like, look, at how the model is styled, you know what I mean? Like, look at, you know, how they kind of put things together, you know, to make it your own. So like, if you don't like what they did, okay, that's fine. But that's the key thing, make it your own. So you gotta just find inspiration here. You can find it in nature. You know, you can find it in the damn dirt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you just make it you, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty. Yes, yes. Okay. So question number two says, what does plus size mean to you? like that um i would say plus size means you know being confident every which way that you are you know accepting and loving your roles your fupa you know the arm bat wings whatever Back they call it, all of the above you know what i mean because it's there and i mean yeah it can go away you know if you wanted to but it's there love it embrace it because self-love is is the most important thing ever so if you plus size and own that shit bitch <laughs> sorry y'all I just you know <laughs> on it okay so I think plus what plus size means to me is just like she said just being comfortable in your skin not caring what others are saying about you if you're yes. happy with who you are then that's all that matters and honestly like the word plus size I think it's a better version of the old school like fat obese whatever you yes. want to call it it's Rude. a better term but honestly we don't need to stick in that category as well like mm -hmm. we're more than just being plus size like right. we have a lot more to give than just that so if you are our plus size out there know you that you the bomb That's okay right. you everything don't listen to these little haters around you because they will be haters like i said if you haven't watched my latest video on negative influences mm -hmm. Go ahead and check that out where you don't need to be listening to your family your friends always getting down on you on your way forget that that's all right, right. That's you right. better than them amen all right amen. <clears throat> <laughs> the next one we're gonna be talking about is are you able to find clothes easily so i would just like to jump on and be like I work at Tour, like I said, and my whole paycheck goes right back to Tour. <laughs> I buy everything at that damn store. But I think that we definitely have made so much progress in uh, yeah in plus size, mid size, just representation in clothing stores. A lot of straight sizes are starting to do a plus size line, or even plus size lines that already exist are doing a whole revamping. It's so so beautiful now. A lot of improvement is needed for sure, but we definitely can find, I think, our size. Like, I wear between, like, a 1X, like, extra large, and then I wear, like, a 2, like, 18 for bottoms. That's so common now, I feel like. A lot of places are having that. So, it used to be a struggle, man. I used to be shopping at, you know, Ashley Stewart, Dress Barn, you know. That's some <laughs> grandma stuff. I am a child. 
but now I got places, you know, I got my stuff. Okay. Yes, yes. So, um, is it easy for me to find clothes? Yes and no. It depends. Um, really, like Sheen, Fashion Nova, it can be a yes. hit or miss. Yes. Um, because I have really, really big boobs and I have a butt and I have big thighs. So, sometimes I can get a shirt that's made, made fit perfectly, but mm -hmm. it's too tight on my boobs. Or find some pants that fits perfectly on my thighs, but the gap on my, like under my pants. Ooh. I hate that where the, the gap is just sitting there and you need a belt. I hate that. But majority of the stuff, like I've been finding stuff that I like. Trendy. Um, yes, very trendy. I range from extra large to 2X as well. Mm -hmm. 14, 16, depending on the item that's why we share all our clothes yes we like do. we have matching shirts right now because we're the best <laughs> 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 but yeah just definitely also if you are shopping online i see a lot of people complain that they can't find stuff that fits them i think a good rule of thumb is if you have a measuring tape please measure yourself that's yes. what i did when i started gaining weight and i really wasn't sure what size i was because yes. i don't really like to shop I rather do stuff online <laughs> so i definitely use a measuring tape and that's never steered me wrong never so she be telling me to get a measuring tape and i have my measurements in the notes on my phone so every time <laughs> i forget oh go right back to my notes all right we there good we go. good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. exactly yes <laughs> okay next question do you get a lot of opinions about your size <laughs> Now, Mimi's last video that she talked about plus size talk was all about the negative influences, and that could be your mother effing family. Like, oh, I feel like I've never heard when I was younger, like, you're beautiful, you know, you look good in your size. It's always like, oh, mm -hmm. you're too big, you gotta lose the weight. Oh, you know, you're too heavy. Oh, you can't fit in this, you can't fit in that. And it's like, obviously, they don't think that they're hurting us, you know, or making such an impact, you know, in the future, but that shit hurts that shit stand oh i'm cursing so much oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> it hurts and it just it just it sticks with you you know what i'm saying so exactly opinions about the size all the time you know what i mean it's it's gross it's disgusting but yeah and it makes you feel uncomfortable like absolutely. you don't want to be around those people anymore you feel yes. some type of way mm -hmm. you know i'm i don't want the negative energy so that's why i'm steering clear and being with people who appreciate me for who i am and what i look like exactly but on the good note i yes. do get some good opinions about what i'm wearing or like wow i really like yes. your outfit where did you get that Very much because so. other plus size people are having like you know they're having trouble finding things that fit mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. definitely just do your research really dig i'm gonna go ahead in the description bar um, description bar i'm gonna go ahead and put some links to different um plus size websites that you can check out that usually help me and felicia yeah so you can definitely check it out and see if you can find some stuff that work for you absolutely okay yes. <laughs> okay um so we're gonna ask well we're gonna answer what more could the fashion industry slash society do in general and we have different things to talk about, like disrepresentation in general, TV shows, the beauty industry, and stuff like that. So I actually wrote a paper. Um, I think it was my, I think it was my master's. I think it was my master's thesis. I don't even know not to know more. <laughs> but I wrote a paper about plus size influences and stuff like that. And I had a section about you know what improvement could be done. And I asked a question for that too on my, on my paper. And it's very much true that there is so much more that could be done. Just representation in general, you know, having more plus size, you know, let's say like in TV, having more plus size, you know, main character is not the side chick or the side the friend. The ugly duckling. You yeah, know? you know, like come on, you know, or like in the beauty industry, kind of just having more, you know, models showcase you know that they're beautiful too just because they got some roles or yes, they got you plus know plus size models plus yeah size beauty. you know it, there needs to be so much more to be done you know like having more brands just have plus size stuff um out there or even the current like fashion brands now they don't really showcase girls who have the big belly or have a flat ass like me you know what i mean <laughs> like they need to you know show a little bit more um just different sizes. Usually, like the 14, 16 has been shown, but I think that show more 22, yes. show more 24 is because they out there, 
what the hell yeah they are exactly so, so they want to feel beautiful too yeah like why would i want to shop at your store if you don't have people that look like me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i ain't gonna do it you gonna do it hell no exactly okay. you ain't getting my coins mm -hmm. <laughs> okay um the next question that we have is what advice can you give someone who is struggling with their size man i think yeah okay so i think the best advice that you could give someone that's struggling with their size is just to tell them and really ask them why they're struggling with their size because you never know it could be you know opinions that are just making them feel uncomfortable maybe they can't fit in their clothes anymore they're starting to feel uncomfortable about that yeah um you really want to dig deep and figure out where it stems from because it could be more than just it could be more than just being plus size or not being comfortable. It could be, it could be a know, health issue. Too. Yes, health you know. health issues, um, mental issues. You just yes. don't know really what people are going through. So definitely like try to dig deep and see what may be the reason why they're feeling that way. Also, just to let them know that they are loved and that yes. to just look in the mirror and say that I love myself, that I'm more than enough, I'm better than what people think that I am. And like I said in my last video, like live for you you have to live the life the people that are around you are not going to be here forever you have to be comfortable in what you look like it doesn't matter to anybody else anyone That's like right. you live for you if you are plus size and you think you're the baddest bitch well guess what you the baddest bitch okay so don't worry about other people's opinions that i think the opinions thing is like high top like the on, number one reason why people, you know, are exactly because it's like you post a picture on Instagram, Facebook, and people are commenting like, "Oh, you gained weight," or "Wow, look at you!" Like you know, they're being petty. Like, mm -hmm. I, listen, these people with their petty comments, I'll be coming for them. I ain't got time. Block, she, delete. She do. She do. I don't mm -hmm. got time for that. Like, I need a nice, positive environment, Absolutely. positive circle, positive vibes around me if you ain't bringing the vibes they don't need to be your friends they don't need to be your family you that know you part. could disown family right okay you better you i'm better. just saying yes like you are not alone you are not struggling by yourself there are many people out there struggling with you and that's okay solidarity ladies yes solidarity we are here together and we're gonna uplift each other every single moment we yes get. Okay? women empowerment that part men empowerment if you are a man and you're plus size you can watch this video we're oh, talking yeah. to you too that's right we're talking to you too you sexy All right. succulent there yes. you go Ooh. there you go come on let's go all right all right <laughs> Lord Clowns. Yes. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just woke up. Mm -hmm. Are you always confident about your size? Hell no. Agreed. Yes Hell and no. It's like. There's times for each, each one. Absolutely. There are times. I tell me this all the time. I have this dress. My Spanish dress. When I put that dress on, when I tell you I feel like just like a rabbit blonde bombshell. Okay. I mean, I am blonde right now, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> it's, that dress makes me feel so good. So every single time I try it on, I never even wore it outside on there, I did. Whatever, you know, but there are other times where it's like, I just feel sluggish. I feel like a fat potato and that's okay. You're not supposed to feel 100%, 100% of the time. Yeah. Absolutely not. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. But as long as you don't stay there. Yeah, exactly. Don't stick in that negative bubble, you know, like, mm -hmm. mm -mm. like I feel yeah. like I have body dysmorphia, like I'm not extreme but like i feel like i don't look the way that i see myself mm -hmm. so it's like that's what that's called i feel that too yeah body dysmorphia like you, yes because i'll not... be taking a picture and i'm like i didn't look like that when i looked in the mirror that's what i'm <laughs> like, saying like oh no like sometimes i hate when people take pictures of me because i look so much bigger than i think i am but Agreed. it's just like but then I still look fucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, exactly. you don't have to be confident all the time, but confidence will definitely slowly but surely get you to a point where you just say F everyone and what they talking about. Cause I know I look good. I feel good. Can I have been said any better? That's right. right. Yes. Yes. So the next question is, is self love important in being plus size? Uh, yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. It definitely is. Because if you, I mean, in general, this is not plus size. It ain't got nothing to do with none. That's right. If you don't have self-love for yourself to begin with, yeah. there's going to be some problems. That's right. There's going to be some major, major problems. We always problems. say, yeah, if you don't have self-love, then how the hell is someone else going to love you or something exactly. like that? Love yourself first. You really have to love yourself. and Get to know yourself. And yes. be comfortable with who you are. With clothes on your back or no clothes on your back. Yeah. You are God's creation and you, you're made for a reason. That's right. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Show that tattoo, girl. Barely, barely. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, it's true. It's very much true. You have to, you have to find something. And then eventually you'll find more things. You'll find one thing that you love about yourself and just stick with it. Yes. Because... That means you are a value. You are just the most amazing thing that was ever created. Mm -hmm. so love yourself. Love yourself. Self worth, baby. Whoa. Self worth, and That's you are right. worth. <laughs> the numbers haven't been calculated That's yet. That's right. That's Infinity how. And beyond, exactly. Girl. That's how much you are worth. Okay. Yes. Man, who are we? I We're know. amazing. Like I know. we're giving the girls and the men. The confidence yes. yes empowerment let's That's empower right. each other on here absolutely okay let's be empowering yeah love each other yes love yes yourself. absolutely yay <laughs> <laughs> So we are done with all the questions for today. Yes. So I just want to say thank you for having Miss Felicia here yes. with us today. You won't be, I mean, you will be seeing me more often. Yes. yes, yes, definitely. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have any tips or any comments you think or any yes. questions that you think are pretty good, please leave them down below so I can comment them. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.